good afternoon everyone let us start remember we have been learning chapter 6 manufacturing industries today we shall learn about information technology electronics industry and industrial pollution now I shall present my screen information technology and electronics industry what do you mean by information technology anybody who can tell me so information technology is the study design development implementation support or management of computer based information system particularly software applications and computer hardware so it, it means it is related with computers okay it is the study design development implementation support or management of computer based information systems particularly software applications and uh, computer hardware so development of software and development of uh, hardware are included in the information technology So let us read, uh, electronics industry covers a wide range of products from transistor sets to television, telephones, cellular telecom, then telephone exchange, radars, computers and many other equipment required by the telecommunication industry. Okay. I think all of you are familiar with the electronics industry. See, this is a photograph showing electronics industry. So here assembling is going on. And so this is another scene of electronics uh, industry in Shenzhen, China. Okay. So let me repeat, electronic industries cover a wide range of products from transistor set. Transistor sets means radios to television, telephone, cellular telecom that is mobile phones, then telephone exchange, okay, devices used in telephone exchange, then radars. Okay, what does radar stand for? What does radar stand for? radio detection and ranging okay so this is an electromagnetic uh, sensor used for detecting locating tracking and uh, recognizing objects or various kinds at considerable distances okay it is used in weather forecasting it is used in the uh, this in determining the amount of rainfall also it is used in the wars also okay it has many uses so radio detection and ranging uh, here I have uh, some photographs see this is a photograph showing radar antenna okay and uh, we have one more photograph see this is another uh, photograph showing radar this is a mobile one movable okay and many other equipment required by the telecommunication industry are manufactured in electronics industry and about distribution of electronics industry bengaluru has emerged as the electronic capital of india okay electronic hub electronic capital of india is bengaluru the capital of karnataka then other important centers of electronic goods are this uh, Mumbai, Delhi, Hyderabad, Pune, Chennai, Kolkata, Lucknow, and Kumbatur. The major industry concentration is at 
Bengaluru, Mumbai, Noida, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Pune. Okay, so here in our textbook, we have a map showing important uh, these uh, soil technology parks. Okay, so this map is very important for the final examination. See here, this star shows uh, the location of important uh, software technology parks. Okay, we have uh, an important STPI in uh, Guwahati, and we have a branch okay in Imphal also STPI Imphal, and here in uh, Jammu and Kashmir also uh, we have Srinagar. Okay, so you may examine it very carefully when you have. Uh, the time okay this is very important for the uh, this final examination for locating and the identification uh, so let me continue a major impact of this industry is uh, has been on employment generation so it tells the it tells the significance of uh, this information and electronics industry so it provide okay employment not only the males but also the females as you have seen in the photograph also females are also working and has been increasing okay the number of females working in the IT industry has been rapidly increasing in the world and continuing the growth in the hardware and the software is the key to success in of IT industry in India okay so we can say that IT industry is the fastest growing industry not only in India but also in the world okay so it tells the importance of this information technology industry uh, in India are you clear any question from your side no sir okay then let us proceed uh, next we have uh, this industrial pollution and uh, environmental degradation uh, what do you mean by pollution I think you might have learned earlier what is pollution pollution you know is the introduction of harmful materials into the environment so Encyclopedia Britannica tells us that pollution is the addition of any substance solid liquid or gas or any form of energy such, such as heat sound or radioactivity to the environment at a rate faster than it can be dispersed diluted decomposed recycled or stored in some harmless form actually nature has the capacity to dilute okay to disperse decompose or recycle but if the concentration is very high then uh, okay it is beyond the level that can be uh, recycled or dispersed by the nature and hence uh, this pollution is there in the environment okay see here uh, we know that industries contribute okay uh, significantly to India's economic growth and development okay then the increase in uh, pollution of land, water, air, noise and and resulting degradation of environment have caused okay cannot be overlooked so industries provide a lot of development to our country but uh, the pollution of this environment is also cannot be ignored okay so industries are responsible for four types of pollution so industries are the main culprit for causing environmental pollution and industries are responsible for four types of pollution those are air pollution, water pollution, lane pollution, and uh, noise pollution. And to this, we have thermal uh, pollution also. Okay, so let us take up uh, this uh, type, these types of pollution in detail. The first one is air pollution. 
So air pollution is caused by the presence of high proportion of undesirable gases such as sulfur dioxide and carbon monoxide. Okay, so air pollution is the addition of undesirable gases into the atmosphere like sulfur dioxide uh, which causes uh, this acid rain then carbon monoxide okay which is very very uh, harmful to human uh, health and airborne particulate materials contain uh, both solid and liquid particles like dust uh, sprays mist and uh, smoke so these are the important pollutants the substance which are causing pollution okay So the substances which cause uh, pollution are dust particles, then sprays, mist from the uh, factories, then smoke from the factories. And the smoke is emitted by chemical and paper factories, then brick kilns, refineries and uh, smelting plants, for example, iron steel plant, burning of fossil fuels in big and small factories okay that ignore uh, pollution norms actually most of the industries in india uh, ignore pollution norms okay certain rules protocols are there to be followed by the industries but some industries are not following those protocols and that is why we have air pollution okay so the main uh, 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 industries causing air pollution are these paper mills brick kilns refineries that is petroleum refineries smelting plants burning of fossil fuel that is uh, vehicles okay big in big and small factories that is in the thermal power plants also then toxic gas leaks can be very hazardous uh, with long-term effects okay some toxic gases also releases uh, and very hazardous uh, with long-term effects to the human health and are you aware of the Bhopal gas tragedy that occurred? So have you heard about the Bhopal gas tragedy? Anybody? Actually, this is a photograph showing air pollution, okay? Actually, this is not at night time, this is daytime because of the air pollution, so we see the sun dimly so this is a scene of air pollution okay and about the bhopal gas tragedy first let us see a photograph see uh, see here about the bhopal gas tragedy uh, there was a gas okay there was a gas leak incident on the night of 2nd and the 3rd december 1984 at the Union Carbide uh, India Limited pesticide plant in Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Actually, in um, Bhopal, there was a company known as Union Carbide India Limited. This is a pesticide plant, okay, located in Bhopal, in Madhya Pradesh. And on the 2nd and the 3rd December night, 1994, there was a gas leak toxic gas leakage okay and because of that over 500,000 people uh, were exposed to methyl isocyanate gas highly toxic substance okay methyl isocyanate gas which is a, a toxic substance toxic gas and uh, 5 lakh people were exposed uh, to this uh, toxic gas and uh, immediately uh, 2,259 uh, people were killed and later on around 16,000 people were killed due to the, uh, this uh, gas leakage and uh, this photograph shows the scene okay uh, after the uh, tragedy after the, uh, the leakage of the, uh, this Union Carbide India Limited And air pollution adversely affects human health than uh, these animals, plants, buildings, and uh, the atmosphere as a whole. Actually, air pollution causes many uh, 
health hazards okay then uh, because of air pollution plants uh, and uh, these animals animals and a bird also migrated plants may be dead the color of buildings may be changed monuments okay may be affected and uh, the atmosphere as a whole also may be affected so we have a diagram showing these uh, effects of pollution on uh, human health here on this side we have air pollution and uh, see when we have uh, lead particles uh, in the atmosphere it affects okay our nerve system nerves are damaged then uh, see uh, these uh, carbon monoxide for example carbon monoxide also affects our brain uh, leading to headache fatigue then uh, this ozone okay when ozone is present near the earth surface it is also toxic poisonous okay and it affects our respiratory uh, tracts respiratory illness then Presence of sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide also causes a respiratory illness than cardiovascular illness that is diseases related with hearts. Then presence of volatile organic compounds in the atmosphere uh, lead to cancer okay, of uh, this intestine. Then you may feel nausea, then you may have skin irritation. So all these are some examples of uh, these effects of air pollution on human health. Any question from your side, boys and girls? Are you clear? Okay, if you don't have uh, any confusion, then let me proceed. Uh, next, we have uh, air pollution. So, air pollution is caused by organic and inorganic industrial wasps and effluents discharged into the river. When these uh, toxic wash water from industries are discharged into the river or water bodies, uh, water pollution is caused, and the main culprits of water pollution are these paper industries, pulp industries, chemical industries, textiles, dyeing industries, coloring industries, then petroleum refineries, tanneries, that is leather works, electroplating industries, uh, and uh, that let out dyes, then detergent, acids, salt, and heavy metal like lead, mercury, pesticide, fertilizers, synthetic chemicals, wheat, carbon, plastic, rubber. Okay, so all these substances uh, cause water pollution. Okay, uh, I think uh, you are familiar with the water pollution also. See, this is a, a photograph showing uh, this water pollution. You may be seeing plastics in the ocean water. Uh, this is also a kind of water pollution uh, then we have this is a scene in India is also uh, water pollution okay a scene showing water pollution then here here discharge of sewerage into the river okay this is also causing water pollution Okay, so these are some photographs showing water pollution. And remember the main culprits of uh, this water pollution are pepper, meals, then pulp. Actually pulp, these are the these, uh, fine uh, powders of the softwood uh, trees, okay, which will be using in making pepper and uh, synthetic uh, textiles, that is cloth. Then chemical industries, textile, petroleum refineries, leather works, okay, electronic industries. So these are the important industries causing water pollution. 
and fly as then uh, phosphor gypsum iron and steel slags are the other major solid washes causing pollution in india okay fly as actually is a fine powder uh, that is a byproduct of burning pulverized uh, coal in electric uh, generation power plants okay pulverized means powdered see it means uh, it is uh, in short fly as means uh, fine particles of burn fuel especially coal okay when we burn uh, this uh, powdered coal in the electric generation power plants then fly ash is produced as a byproduct so it also causes pollution if we uh, dump it in the water bodies okay then slags you know is a stony wash matter it also causes pollution on land and water and about the hell hazard to water pollution uh, now uh, let us see uh, this diagram and here see here we have water pollution here and uh, pesticide okay pesticide from the agriculture fields uh, this uh, causes uh, nausea then uh, it also causes uh, cancer okay to intestine or other part of uh, human body it also causes gastroenteritis diseases related with uh, stomach okay it also affects uh, this uh, heart okay cardiovascular illness also then uh, it also affects our brain okay headache fatigue also maybe there then bacteria parasite and the chemicals uh, from uh, the environment from the field and other uh, wa water bodies also affect our these uh, intestines and stomach okay causing diarrhea dysentery then uh, john dix hepatitis a b c like that okay all these diseases are caused by uh, water pollution next we have uh, thermal pollution okay so thermal pollution of water occurs when hot water from the factories and the thermal plants is drained into rivers and a pond before cooling so thermal pollution is occurred when we discharge hot water from the uh, factories especially from the iron steel plants metallurgical industries and the thermal power plants before uh, it uh, co before cooling okay when we discharge hot water into the river or pond before cooling that is directly uh, thermal pollution is caused okay you know that uh, water is used for cooling purpose in the metallurgical industries in the alstom plant water is used for cooling purpose and uh, if this hot water is discharged directly into the river then it causes thermal pollution and it affects our uh, this aquatic uh, ecosystem aquatic life okay see here we have uh, one chart here and uh, see effects of thermal pollution is given here okay this is reproduced from encyclopedia britannica okay see here heated uh, cooling water from power plant may be 15 degrees celsius water than lake or stream water that means it rises the temperature of the water then heated water increases the metabolic rate of feces then adding heated water to a water body reduces the amount of dissolved oxygen that water may hold actually water contains oxygen but if we discharge hot water then uh, content of oxygen is reduced thus affecting fish and the other aquatic fauna okay it affects aquatic ecosystem uh, any question from your side are you clear are you connected okay if you don't have questions let me proceed
was from nuclear power plants then nuclear weapon production facilities cause cancers birth defects and miscarriages okay so if we don't dispose the wasp product from the nuclear power plants okay radiation will be there and it causes cancer then birth defects and the miscarriages you know miscarriages birth of a baby that has already died in the womb of mother that is miscarriages uh, so it may occur due to radiation uh, from the nuclear and uh, other uh, nuclear weapon production facilities centers and soil and the water pollution are closely related okay soil and water pollution closely related if soil is polluted water is also polluted or if water is polluted then soil is also polluted so dumping of wash especially glasses then harmful chemical industrial effluents packaging salts garbage render soil useless if we throw plastic glass fragments then chemicals then toxic substance from industries then uh, these uh, salts okay then garbage cause soil useless we cannot cultivate the land and rain water percolates uh, into the soil carrying the pollutants into the ground and the ground water also gets contaminated then we see uh, here uh, he say this is the surface and here we have ground water let us say this is the aquifer and if we throw a lot of particles here okay substances here toxic substances here when there is rainfall rain water will dissolve these salts chemicals and will go underground okay and will reach the aquifer and thus contaminating the underground water causing pollution okay So about thermal pollution, so I forgot to show you uh, some photographs see here. Uh, this is from the uh, thermal power plants. What water is released, okay, uh, into the, uh, the streams. And likewise, see here, we have another scene of this here. What water is discharging directly into the river. And this is uh, very, okay, it affects the aquatic system. And next we have uh, an important uh, type of uh, pollution that is uh, noise pollution, okay? And uh, here uh, we have, see, actually all these uh, devices, mics and all these uh, cause a noise pollution. So this is a scene showing noise pollution. Then this is, uh, see, a scene causing pollution in the big cities. Lot of vehicles are there. It also causes pollution. Okay. And see, noise pollution not only result in the irritation and the anger. It also causes hearing impairment, increased heart rate, blood pressure, among other psychological effects. When we are exposed to the noise pollution for a long time, then psychologically we may be affected and our blood pressure may be increased, heart rate okay, may be increased and uh, hearing impairment will be there in the long run. And uh, sometimes we feel irritation, we feel anger also. Okay, so noise pollution means when the noise level is beyond our uh, bearable level, then uh, we say there is noise pollution. Human beings can bear only up to 40 decibel. Okay, the noise level that we can bear is only up to 40 decibel. Beyond this, we call it noise pollution. And if there is noise pollution, then it also causes health hazards. Okay, and about the effects of uh, this noise pollution, see here. Uh, here, uh, Issues related with noise pollution, physical damage to hearing organs in humans and other animals. Then noise pollution okay, produces increased stress level, anger. Then noise disrupt ecosystems by driving certain species away. Because of noise pollution, 
migration of birds and animals insects will be there thus affecting the ecosystem then noise alters the habit of wildlife then noise occurs on lane that is industry and transportation and at sea also we have uh, this noise pollution not only on lane and uh, uh, this in the industrial area nowadays we have noise pollution in the sea also okay So unwanted sound is an irritant and a source of stress. Then what are the important source of noise pollution? See industrial and construction uh, activities, machinery, factory equipment, generators, shows and uh, pneumatic and electric drills also make a lot of noise. Okay, construction works. Actually, nowadays in the construction work, we use a lot of machines that also co cause uh, noise pollution, then uh, generators and uh, saws and pneumatic uh, drills. Pneumatic means uh, this uh, relating to or using air, okay, devices or machines using air pressures, okay, that is called pneumatic drills, then electric drills. Uh, also make a lot of noise so drill I think you are familiar with drills see here it also causes a lot of noise and uh, one more okay this is one this is a uh, sonic drilling machine okay drilling is done by sound waves okay sonic drilling machine so it also causes uh, this noise pollution okay and uh, this photograph is uh, about electronic industries in which uh, these women okay are also involved nowadays as i told you earlier employment of women in the it industry has been increasing increasing rapidly so this photograph shows the same So are you clear any question from your side regarding uh, these different types of pollution? Actually we are discussing only uh, the main types of pollution related with the industry industries. Okay. Any question? So if you don't have uh, questions, if you don't have doubts, uh, let us stop here for today. Thank you very much for joining my class. And don't forget to send uh, your names in the WhatsApp group for attendance. Thank you very much. So